Hey, my good friends, Sam Haymart with Test Driven TV. In the garage today is something pretty cool, the all-new 2024 Toyota Tacoma with the iForce engine. And we're gonna do a complete underhood tour outlining all of the major technical features, as well as the do-it-yourself maintenance service points. For 2024, the Toyota Tacoma is all new and inherits the brand's now venerable 2.4 liter four cylinder turbocharged dual overhead cam 16 valve engine known as T24A FTS. Replacing the old 3.5 liter V6, the engine comes mated to an also new 8 speed automatic transmission. Similar to the variations found in many other Toyota products, the engine features D4S fuel injection, which is a combination of both high-pressure direct fuel injection and a lower-pressure port fuel injection system. The engine can use either or both systems during operation depending on what the computer decides. The engine also features dual variable cam timing. In this particular installation, the engine is rated at 278 horsepower at 6,000 RPM and 317 pound-feet of torque at 1700 RPM, and that's running on 87 octane regular fuel. With four wheel drive and our double cab TRD off road tester, it's rated at 19 MPG city, 23 MPG highway, and 20 MPG combined. At the front of the engine is a simple serpentine belt driving the water pump, alternator, and AC compressor. This Tacoma has an electrically powered power steering rack, so there's no power steering pump. On iForce Max hybrid models, the AC compressor is electrically driven instead. Following the airflow, the intake charge starts at the passenger side front of the engine compartment and flows into a large conventional air filter box, through a mass airflow sensor and then into the turbocharger mounted low on the passenger side of the engine. From there it travels through a hose up to the air-to-air -air intercooler mounted at the front behind the grill. Coming back into the engine compartment, the cooled air charge then flows into a composite plastic intake manifold before making its way up into the 16-valve head. Atop the head, you can see all four spark plug coil packs, which are easily accessible for servicing. The steel high-pressure fuel rail for the direct fuel injection can easily be seen. And this is the natural view of the engine here. There's no snap-on engine cover. Once the combustion process is complete, the spent air exits through an integral exhaust manifold into the turbocharger, and an electronically controlled wastegate controls the airflow on the way out. Then the exhaust heads directly into the catalyst system down low. Maintaining the 2.4 liter turbo engine is relatively straightforward. The air filter is located at the passenger side front of the engine bay and accessible easily. There are two separate fuse boxes, one on the passenger side and one on the driver's side. Both are easily opened and a fuse removal tool can be found inside of the passenger side box. The 12 volt battery is located in plain sight at the passenger side rear of the engine bay near the firewall. The oil filler cap can be found atop of the engine as expected. Oil level, it can be checked at the driver's side of the engine with the bright yellow dipstick handle easily seen. The oil filter is located at the bottom front of the engine and is most easily accessed from below. Brake fluid, it's at the driver's side firewall sitting atop a conventional brake master cylinder and power booster. The ABS control unit is adjacent to it as is the aforementioned driver's side fuse box. Ahead of both is the engine control unit or ECU. And lastly, at the front of the engine bay on the driver's side, you find the windshield washer fluid. The last notes I'd add here is that this is a pretty well laid out and clean looking engine bay. I was impressed with the side panels, which help the appearance, but also help with sound, as does the large insulation pad found underneath the hood. All right, my friends, there you have it for an underhood tour of the 2024 Toyota Tacoma with the iForce engine. Now, if you have an iForce Max hybrid, everything we discussed here, almost everything, is identical. The big difference is that where the 12 volt battery is on this vehicle, you will find the hybrid control unit and there'll be a lot more of that orange high voltage wiring, but the engine and most all of the service points that we discussed will be identical. The 12 volt battery and the hybrid battery for that vehicle is located under the rear seat. So if you wanna see a test drive of this vehicle, you can see that right there on our partner channel, Test Driven TV. If you like the nuts and bolts stuff like we're discussing right here, you can see more of it by subscribing to this channel right there.